Okay, my name is Mtagani Pogahatebe and um, welcome to Heal the Land. <laughs> okay, but what actually happened um, on Monday the 11th, I think, um, it was, it was mind-blowing. Because I think it started when I was at home and I could hear bombs when they were bombing the mall. Mm. And then it happened that in the morning, so our church is in the middle of factories. So people use a small um, in between the fence road to go through two factories. But people started looting factories from like early morning, you know. And um, they saw there's no, there's no way for them to get through. So they cut the church fence to, to, to use to get through to the factories. But it was thousands and thousands and thousands of people and um, so after they've looted the factory they'll set it alight um, like five of our neighboring factories um, the way I liked and then in the afternoon around 3 3 30 I received um, a phone call from one of our youth leaders he is at the church he says people want to come in the church and uh, but he's alone. He keeps like uh, telling people to stop. Don't you dare do that! And he's he's a humble giant, you know. And uh, until they wanted to spade him out of the way, so he got spaded a bit and then he moved, you know. But they didn't hurt him. When we, when we arrived, so me and my friend, um, we arrived at the church. People were already starting to take stuff in the church. They were started. They started took our sound system, they took our lighting gear, they took our our sound desks, our amplifiers, church fans, urns, even the safe, you know, um, <laughs> um, maybe they wanted to be safe, but, <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, um, maybe about 18 guys lifted up a massive safe, put it in, in like in the back, there were cars, it, was, it wasn't just pedestrians, there were cars parked in our parking lot, even outside the church, even a kilometer away from the church, sure. of people who were just looting and things which was just it was out of our control. So, Nklaka, you actually shared some very interesting stories of what happened. Um, maybe you can tell one or two stories of people in your own congregation um, during this time. Actually, um, three of the guys um, joined the looting party and um, as they had staff and the, as they were going to their homes holy spirit convicted them that this thing was actually wrong and they took when they went back to the shop they put back whatever they had taken wow and then they ran to the church and um to where to where our, one of our pastors lives and um they asked to to for repentance and he actually led them in the Lord in repentance. So we, we, we do actually see people taking back stuff and seeing God working in them, um, even in times like these. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think the one message that I see when I listen to you is the message of hope. Um, and maybe um, I can ask you that. You know, how do you feel? Are you hopeless? Um, are you angry? Um, are you upset? What what what's the, what's going through your head? Oh. <laughs> um, I'm not hopeless. Um, I think this is this is the ripe time. This is the right time even um, for the gospel to reach people. If you if you actually just look at history of the church and how God has worked through His church, it's it's in desperate situations um, that. Um, that people actually see the need for God. Yeah, but, um, mm. So I, I think there's a spiritual hunger that pe some people are not even aware of because there's just that, that deep thing, that, that deep need that you don't know how to fill. And I, I think this is the time for us to preach all the more, for us to, 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 to speak about Jesus all the more. I was actually very encouraged, like just before coming here, um, I saw some people preaching in the streets, preaching Jesus, yes. and sing, you know, and, and those are the things that we need. Uh, yesterday I received a video of a lady um, just going out 
from her house, literally just in front of her gate, just preaching Jesus, Jesus that saves, you know. And um, that, that is the utmost thing that we need. And I know that a lot of people have lost um, employment through this looting. A lot of people might have lost hope, but this, this is the perfect time. Because when, 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 when the world gets darker, the, the gospel gets brighter, Jesus shines brighter um, through us and in us, you know. And um, I'm really encouraged to go see we need to stand as, as God's people in, in such a time. You know, we, we are not called to shrink back. We're not called to mm. retreat. We are called to advance and to, to speak all the more and be, and be more bold and be more courageous. We, we, um, we, 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 we swim against the current, mm. you know. Um, so I don't think with that moments like this surprise us and they shock us and we're like, how could people actually loot in the church you know um but it doesn't surprise god you know um we will see that one day the people who actually looted in the church are going to come in the church and be saved 